Okay, so welcome to our um, call on essential oils and babies. And I am going to present a really, hopefully, in interesting, entertaining, and fun presentation. If I can just move this thing aside. Okay, can you all see this? You can just give me a thumbs up. Brilliant, thank you. Okay, great. We are rocking. All right, so welcome to our class today on essential oils for little ones. Um, we are doing a series which I've been hosting for Hello Essentials South Africa. And um, next week we're gonna be doing essential oils and emotions. We, we're sticking to Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. The week after that, we're doing Ningxia Red and why that's essential. Then we're going to be talking about Young Living's best kept secret, which is actually Essential Rewards. It's our loyalty program. So we'll explain what that is and how that works. And the following week, Essential Oils for Staying Healthy. And then we're going to be talking about the business opportunity. And um, we get asked a lot about that. So I like to make that available um, for all of you guys to understand how that works. Okay, so that is where we're at. Whoops. All right, my mouse is going a little bit crazy. All right, so who am I? For those of you who are jumping on and you've never met me, my name is Jade Elmale, and I'm a passionate mom of two girls and love to talk about essential oils. And this is very dear to my heart because it's how I got started using essential oils because of my youngest one being rather ill with fevers and temperatures. Um, and so I'll get into that in a second. But anyway, this is like what I say here. I love to empower moms with the knowledge of how to embark on a wellness journey, caring for your family using natural and plant-based products. So tonight, I'm going to go over um, a little bit again, my introduction and why I got started, what are essential oils, how they work, some safety guidelines and dilutions. And then we'll discuss specific applications and recipes and then go over a recap for, you know, next week's um, what's, what's coming up next. All right. So the first thing is, what are essential oils? So essential oils are the lifeblood of a plant. They are there to protect, to strengthen a plant. They are unique. It's a volatile fluid. They're adaptogenic. They're antiviral, antifungal, antiseptic, and antibacterial. They're extracted from the roots, the leaves, the barks, the seeds. It just depends where is going to have the most nutrition. They use low heat, steam distillation, or resin tapping, and they are tiny in size. Essential oils have 40 million trillion molecules in just one drop. So they're extremely concentrated and they're about 70 times stronger than your average herbs that you find in the garden. Okay, how quickly do they work? Well, in 22 seconds, the molecules reach the brain. In two minutes, they'll be found in the bloodstream. In 20 minutes, they'll affect every single cell in the body. And how is it possible that these little tiny essential oil molecules can actually um, how is it possible that they can cross the blood to brain barrier? Well, it's because of their tiny size and our inherent human receptors, which make them the perfect natural medicine. Okay, so there's three methods of use when it comes to essential oils. We follow the French method, and the French method states that essential oils are safe for use aromatically, topically and internally. So there's other schools of thought on this. There's some other, you know, there's the English method and there's the German method. And each of those only state that aromatic use is the only way we should use essential oils. And the other one states that, you know, topical use is the only way we should use essential oils. We follow the French method and we incorporate all three. Now, having said that, there are only certain oils, essential oils, that are safe for internal use. So you do need to learn which ones they are. They are labeled Vitality, and that is in the United States of America, which is actually where I'm living. I live in California, but I am South African. And um, so I know that lemon essential oil, as an example, is actually safe for internal use. <clears throat> it's safe for topical use, and it's safe for aromatic use. So I can use them all three ways. 
and it was, as I said, labeled accordingly, and it has like a vitality label. Now in South Africa, they're still working to get this license to say that we can state such a thing, and we are not yet there, but I can tell you that lemon vitality essential oil and the regular young living lemon oil are exactly the same thing inside the bottle. And therefore, once we know this, and we know that it's safe for internal use, you are absolutely okay to use lemon essential oil internally. So you just need to learn which ones are safe, which we, our team will help you with. Okay, so why Young Living? Young Living goes beyond organic cultivation. So they have native farming practices. Sorry, one sec. Um, they have native farming practices. They have over 25 years of experience and positive energy. And this one I love to talk about because we're one of the only companies that actually cares about people's attitude. <laughs> so when people come to work, we want them to be happy and to um, come in with a good energy. And we believe that, and they, they've actually done studies on this. They've had like plant A and plant B, and each of them were given the exact same nutrition, water, sunlight. And plant A was spoken to so positively and said, you're amazing, you're growing, you're giving us life, you are thriving. Plant B was spoken to really negatively and being told, you're awful, you're dying, you don't give us anything, you're useless. And what do you know, plant A thrives and plant B wilts and dies. So there really is something to be said about that, that um, your energy and what we carry, especially the people working on the farms, have to love what they're doing and just feel good um, because they're, they're pouring that out onto the plants. So no other you know, young, I mean, essential oil company is going to care about how people like show up to work, but we really pride ourselves on how much we love what we do. Each person, like I love what I do. I love to share this with other families. The farmers are so passionate about what they do. I've been lucky enough to go to three farms um, and see this for myself. Okay, so moving on, harvesting and distillation practices. They have learned through experience and through time the exact correct time to distill a plant. We go with slow, low heat and one time distillation only. So they are 100% pure. Now, for those of you who are really new to oils, you're like, okay, what, you know, everything says 100% pure on a label. Sadly, there is no regulation on labels of products. And we spoke about this in our last class last week on, um, you know, learning about how to slowly ditch your chemicals and toxins that you're using in cleaners and, and move over to more clean, non-toxic plant-based products. So what I wanted to say about this piece is Young Living, it's, it's a sad thing and we have to be very mindful and the gatekeepers in our home, but Young Living absolutely does that job for us. And they are so transparent. We are the only company that own our own farms. We have an open door policy. They have extensive in-house testing and external testing. So as I said, I personally have been lucky enough to be at three different farms. And it's, it's incredible to watch the people behind the scenes working on everything, um, distilling how they do. And it's, it's just pretty remarkable. So anyway, that has has been a joy to be able to see. Okay, 100% pure and one-time distillation, a quick thing on this. So we are the only company that distills our essential oils and what you are getting in a bottle has been one-time distilled. So what this means is imagine you're at like a coffee shop and you order an espresso and the person, the barista who makes you that coffee it runs through the machine, there was fresh beans, they've, they, you know, they've done everything they've needed to, you've watched it and it is, you're now getting your espresso. It's the strongest and it's been one time distilled, if you will. Next customer comes in, they add more water, it's now being diluted out. And so it is essentially two times distilled. Okay, um, then you imagine that there's more people who keep coming and ordering coffee and each time this barista is actually adding more and more water. So by the time say the fifth or sixth person has walked in, they're getting a six time distilled coffee. Now they would say, ugh, this tastes awful. And the barista could say, well, it's coffee. So you asked for coffee, I gave you coffee. So this is exactly what's happening in other essential oil companies is that they're adding carrier oils or they are actually sadly making the oil themselves with synthetic, it's all synthetic. So a very sad fact 
is um, out of France. I think that the statistic was last year. More lavender essential oil came out of France than is actually grown. Um, than what it was harvested. So that's just an indication for you guys that you really need to know what you are buying and, um, and have faith in, in what it is. So for me personally, what got me started on this journey when I was kind of starting to share, my little one was 16 months old. Um, her name is Sage and she got sick, right? Little kids get sick often, we know this. So she had temperatures and she was miserable. And for about 10 days, I had this little girl like a koala bear attached to me. And um, she was really miserable. I actually even had Empapad on hand because I had done a trip to South Africa and I had some of that. And I was alternating between um, you know, Advil, Tylenol, Empapad, which is similar to your Nurofen, Panado and such. And on day three, when I went to check her at the pediatrician, just for maybe something I'm not seeing, like an ear infection or something along those lines, they looked at her head to toe and said, we cannot tell what is wrong. So I went home and on my drive home, she had a febrile seizure in the car, which was awful and scary. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically just a seizure. So the child like just shakes um, because the temperature spikes so quickly. So of course I went straight back to the pediatrician, had them check her out again. They agreed and said, yes, she's postdictal. She did have this febrile seizure. And now we really recommend that you go to the ER and have her fully tested for everything. So I did all these things and luckily everything was negative and there was nothing more serious. But the sad thing is, as told now, you definitely need to have her on medication anytime she gets a temperature. You need to put her on a painkiller pretty much every four hours and you're gonna alternate the two different kinds. So that is what we did for the following seven days of fevers, but we had no answers. And finally she got better. And I decided that's like not good enough. I need to have something better for this child and for my family, because there is no way in heck that I'm ever going to give her this much medication and feel like it's not even helping and like her poor little liver. <laughs> so I started to really research and I came across essential oils and then I really looked into, I better be choosing the absolute best brand because I'm using this on my little one. So I then um, found Stacy who helped me to get my starter kit, taught me all the things I needed to know. And she actually showed me the fever roller and how to use it. This is why we are set up as a company the way we are, because we all get these like amazing oily gurus that help us on our journey. Before this, I just used lavender in a diffuser, some rubbishy quality diffuser and not all diffusers are created equal by the way. So ours do use pharmaceutical grade plastic, which means it's not gonna leach any toxins when we're diffusing and that's so important. So anyhow, I had her help me and um, I knew where to use this roller, which happens to be, and we're gonna talk about this, it's down the spine and around the belly. So about three weeks later, she got a temperature. I was actually excited. I got to use this. I put it in action. And I'm so excited and proud to tell you guys that she's now, she's turning five any day. We have not used drags in my house since we've had essential oils. So we use them for all the things with the kids. And the other amazing thing that I've noticed is we are hardly ever going to the pediatrician. So I literally have them call me and say, oh, your daughter's turning three, right? So I'm like, yeah, she is. They're like, okay, she needs to come in for a well check. So that has been the visits that we do to the pediatrician in great contrast to what I used to do with both of them. I was at the pediatrician on average once a month with, we've had it all from strep, croup, all these things. And suddenly we just hardly get sick and if we do we treat it very differently now and so you almost or like my kids have not touched an antibiotic or any pain medicine and this is a child who was told she has a history of febrile seizures you must medicate her so i'm not saying doctors are not helpful or smart or know they're stuck please don't get me wrong if one of them breaks their arm i am going to the hospital and i'm going to get them in a cast and thank god for western medicine but it is so great to have a first line of defense and to see that as we're treating things preventatively we're not going into oh gosh now she's full on blown with croup she's got you know strep it's developed into this um and then we also had issues by the way with my little one who's actually allergic to penicillin so 
that was another wake up call for me personally, because I had her on something for a really bad ear infection. And then the next thing she like developed a whole other issue. So anyhow, that's just my story. But the exciting part is this is why I'm so passionate. So I actually work with moms and babies. I sleep train them. I work with routines and age appropriate, um, getting the fam getting that child in an age appropriate routine and creating more balance for the family. So it was natural for me to share. And this is how the business side of Young Living sort of fell in my lap. And it's been the most beautiful and wonderful business opportunity, which of course we'll talk about in another class. Okay, so thank you for bearing with me and understanding the passion behind why I love this topic and why this is like everything for me. All right, so the important thing when it comes to little ones is dilution ratios. This is so important. So you have to use these essential oils safely because these things are potent. They're really, really strong, but they work, which is brilliant and beautiful and it's just from plants so this is a rough guide for you if you have a baby that is six months to one years old you want to dilute it four times the label recommendation but a nice rule of thumb is one drop of essential oil for every 50 drops of carrier oil is kind of the general now when we say carrier oil we mean mct oil or young living cells a v6 vegetable complex so these things are carrier oils a lot of the ones you have in your kitchen are considered carrier oils. So there's coconut oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, olive oil. All of those are carrier oils. My favorites to use with littles are going to be MCT, or which you can buy at Discam, or to get Young Living's V6 vegetable oil complex. And then we're making rollers, and then we can use these things topically. Here's an example of a little roller bottle that I have, but usually I do the 10 mil rollers with my little ones, which is this size. So this happens to be mine for a headache, but I do have one like this for pizza and lots of other things which we'll cover now. Okay, two years to five years, you would want to dilute it three times the label recommendation and five years to 10 years, you're going to dilute two times the label recommendation. And the information that we're talking about, as I've said, it's, Based on my personal experience, I'm not trying to diagnose anyone or anything. I don't prescribe, treat, or cure any diseases, and I'm not trying to replace the services of a licensed healthcare provider or physician. Okay, let's talk about immunity, colds and coughs, fevers, headaches, and ear infections, potty talk and tummy woes, focus and confidence, calm and bedtime bliss, allergies and asthma, growing pains and boo-boos, and of course, skin issues. So I wanted to cover this, all of these with you guys. These are the main reasons why I personally have found to use essential oils in my family, and they work so well for all of these things. Okay, so one of my favorite ways for our whole family to stay healthy is called Thieves Tea. Um, so simple to make. You are going to take a mug like this, and you're gonna put about a tablespoon of honey if you're new to using essential oils, you might want to put a little bit more honey to just make it a bit sweeter for yourself. And then you're going to put one drop of Thieves Vitality. Please note that I've had to state Vitality because these are all the ones I'm talking about to take in internally, but you will not get these Vitality labels right now in South Africa. So what that means for you is anytime you see Vitality, just know that if you have this essential oil, which is Thieves essential oil, it is safe to use internally. Okay, so one drop of thieves, two drops of lemon essential oil, you've got your honey, you add some warm water and you stir and enjoy. Now this is gonna be an adult portion. This is an adult recommendation. If I have a little one who is anything over one years old, what I'm gonna do is take that normal cup of thieves tea, I pour half out into their sippy cup or whatever, however I'm giving it to them. And then I want you to add another half cup of water, plain water, and you can add extra honey if you would like to. Now, if you had a six month old, I personally do not mind to give them some thieves tea, but I'm gonna actually dilute it. I'd probably give them a third a cup of the thieves and two thirds of water. And then I'm gonna add maple syrup or agave instead of using the honey, okay? So that is how I give it to my little ones. And I mean, every night my husband and I have a cup of thieves tea just, just to keep our immunity boosted. And I give my kids every second or third day, 
as just an additional kind of supplement to keep them healthy during winter months and cold and flu season. And now with what's going on in this world with this virus, I actually do like to give it to them daily if I know that there's more things happening. And they love it, so it's their tea time. Another nice tip for you guys in South Africa is I will often take a rooibos tea bag and then I'll put the thieves, one drop of thieves on the tea bag, two drops of lemon on the tea bag, and I make it as a tea. And then for them, I actually add a little bit of milk. And over here, we, we, we try not to use too much cow's milk just because dairy causes all sorts of other issues that I'm not going to get into. But um, we use any other milk alternative, so coconut, almond, whatever else you can get. So I add it and I make it like a tea latte for them, but it's actually thieves infused. Okay wellness roller i love this wellness roller here is the recipe for you you take five drops of purification essential oil um, and this is how you make these by the way you're going to take a roller bottle like this it's going to be open and you're going to add the essential oils in first a little tip for you is i like to put it down on a hard surface so that i don't move around and mess um, and then i will take the essential oil and kind of aim it and just drop it in so you're going to do five drops of purification five drops of thieves three drops of frankincense, three drops of lemon, one drop of oregano, which we say is optional. I think it does make all the difference. Just to let you know, oregano is the antibiotic of the oil world. So if you do not have this in your house, I strongly recommend you get oregano. It's not an expensive essential oil. And we take it as adults internally in a capsule when we're not feeling well. And for little ones, we put it in the roller. Here's the thing though, oregano, oregano, and peppermint, and thieves even, are all hot oils. What that means is, if you were to get it on your skin, it feels like it's burning. It's not gonna burn you, it just feels like it's burning. So what you wanna do if that happens, is you're gonna take a carrier oil to dilute that out. So you wanna grab your coconut oil, put that on, and dilute that out so that it doesn't feel like it's burning anymore. So anytime, I mean, I'll never forget one day when my little one, she took the bottle of thieves and went to like smell it. I didn't see her. So keep it out of reach of little ones. And the next thing I see her going, Whoa! so I knew to run, grab some coconut oil and just put that on her face. It totally calmed it down. All was fine. But the point I'm making is that it's a hot oil. And so you want to keep it off our skin unless it is diluted. And when you're using it in the carrier, we want to put it under feet. So what I do is every day I apply this to the bottoms of their feet before they go off to school or camp. Um, even if they're not going to school or camp for obvious reasons right now, then I'm still putting this under their feet. The other option is you can do it, especially now that it's winter, under feet and then put socks on and then, you know, say goodnight and off they go to bed. Before using this roller, you can do an up down to get it to mix. You don't need to do a shake, shake, shake. So you're welcome to just go up and down one time and then roll it under their feet and down spine. So I'm doing this once a day. If my children are sick or they're not feeling well, I will increase to two times a day and do it in the morning and do it after their bath at night. And if they are like actively sick, I'm probably doing it every three hours. So I'm, I'm doing it like three times a day up to five times a day. Of course, you, you know your kid. And if you're still new to oils, we say, start slow you know don't overdo it okay the wellness diffuser blend this is going to go in your diffuser thieves and purification are amazing together so if you're just getting started or if let's say it's a baby if it's a baby baby that's less than a year old one drop you guys one drop of thieves and just put it across the room from where their cot is don't have it on top of them but that is plenty and if it's, say, a three-year-old to five-year-old, you can do three drops of thieves and three drops of purification. If you have been using these oils for a while now, maybe six months or so, like if I was putting this diffuser blend for me or my husband who weren't feeling well, we would, I would do up to five to six drops of thieves and five to six drops of purification. Okay, colds and coughs. So this was a godsend. Um, we have not had croup in my house again. But, oh my goodness, I don't know how we dealt with coughs. <laughs> I mean, I do. We used to put the um, Vicks under feet, which is awful, and it's full of toxins. So now we make our own chest rub, which we're going to talk about. But I tell you, this has been a lifesaver for me and in this house. If anyone ever gets a cough, the oils are amazing. So a chest roller, this is going to replace your Vicks. This is going to be topical. So again, you're putting it in a roller like this. 
and you're going to put five drops of RC. RC stands for respiration, cough, cold, congestion. So think of all those things. Now, Raven is another alternative. And I like Raven with kids who are asthmatic. It just tends to work better for them. It's a little bit lighter. RC has got all three types of eucalyptus in it. So it's quite strong. But RC for me, when a child has a cough, it is my go-to. Um, so just to kind of make the distinction. But if you only have Raven or eucalyptus on hand, and those could replace any of where it says RC or Raven. You can replace that with a eucalyptus. Okay, so a chest roller, five drops of RC, four drops of lemon essential oil, four drops of purification. You're going to fill it with or get like any organic carry oil of your choice. Like I said, MCT oil or the V6 one from Young Living. And then you're going to, this, this dilution that I'm talking about is for three to eight years old. And you can just do a few swipes to the chest. For the chest rub, this is going to be your VIX alternative. I do recommend anytime we're doing a rub or an ointment, you want to use the cold pressed hard kind organic coconut oil. So this is the one, you know, that's going to solidify when it's cold and it's going to liquefy when it's hot. By the way, this is why we get something over here called fractionated coconut oil, which is in a liquid state all the time. And that's what we often put in our rollers, our you know, these rollers. But for you guys, MCT oil and the V6 work just as well. And that's going to go into carry, into the 10 mil rollers. But when we're doing ointments, we're using the one that does get hard. So what you're going to do is take a, a bowl, preferably ceramic or glass or stainless steel, and you're going to put the coconut oil in first. Now you can use a fork to mix. So I make a little well and I drop in eight drops of RC, eight drops of joy, eight drops of Melrose, eight drops of peppermint. Now if you're like, oh, I don't have Melrose or joy, that's okay. Make it without those things. It's still going to be effective. So if you just have RC and peppermint on hand, totally fine. And then you can mix it up with a fork in you know in a bowl or you can use an electric mixer and then once it's whipped and it's good you want to transfer it to a glass jar i really should have brought my whole medicine kit down to show you guys my medicine kit but i keep all these things in my jars and my rollers it's actually upstairs between the girls beds that the, uh, be ugh, between their bedrooms that's where i have all my things and the best part is they know what to ask for and they know how to use a lot of this themselves. Right now they're five and seven years old. So they know when their tummy hurts, they can use it. And so I don't feel that I have to lock away my medicine cabinet. Okay, whoops, I'm being mindful of the time. I'm totally gonna go over and I'm sorry, but there's a lot to share. Okay, so the cough diffuser blend, aromatically, three drops of RC or Raven. And this you can use you know, while they're sleeping, of course. So throat ease. This is going to be for a sore or scratchy throat with a little one, one drop of purification. And you do want to put about almost a tablespoon or, you know, of your carrier oil. And in this case, it doesn't matter if it's the cold pressed coconut oil, just rub it in your hands to get it to liquefy, or you can use your carrier oil and just do a squirt and you're going to rub it on the outside of their throat. So that is a great one for a sore throat. If it's for you or me as adults, one drop of purification meat, meaning undiluted. Okay, fevers, headaches, and ear owies. So the temperature rising one, this you're going to put a drop of peppermint and a drop of frankincense. You can put this in your palm, you know, and just do this here and now and as they need it. Or you can make one of these ready to go. So if you're making a roller, one drop of peppermint and one drop of frankincense and add your carrier oil. And the best way to remember how to use this is the letters T O. You're going to do a T behind their back. So T meaning, you know, at the back of their, behind their neck and then down, down their spine, and then the letter O around their belly. So think of the letters T O when it comes to a fever or temperature reducer roller. You can, of course, drop this in your palm, rub it, as I say, down the spine and around the belly, and you can put some under the feet as well. It really helps. Okay, for a headache, this is a topical roller again. So here's my headache roller. Three drops of Panaway, three drops of Vala, two drops of Copa Iba, two drops of peppermint, fill it with carrier oil. And we say roll on temples. I will tell you, I find that I just need to do one dot. I don't even roll it. And again, if for whatever reason this gets in the eye and they're like, oh, that hurts, go grab more coconut oil and just put more in the eye to basically wash or dilute it out. Do not go wash with soap and water. Okay, 
to ease an earache, you're going to use one drop of purification and you can put it on a cotton ball and place it in the ear. We never ever put essential oils in any orifice. So we don't put it in our eye, in our ear. We don't do any of that. Instead, you're going to put it on the outside. So another idea is you can put purification, one drop in the palm of your hand, take your pinky and put it on the outside of your ear. For them, you're gonna add a little bit of carrier oil to that. The other alternative is doing a drop of tea, which also goes on the outside of the ear. Okay, so potty stuff, toilet talk and tummy woes. Tummy tamer roller, this is for painful or sore tummy aches. You're gonna make a roller bottle and we call it the tummy tamer roller. 12 drops of Dajai's essential oil, four drops of peppermint. You're gonna fill it with carrier oil. I have mine, I usually have mine in my purse to go for my kids and I keep one next to the bed. So what you can do is, as they say, they have a sore tummy, you roll it. And what's so interesting is if there is constipation, you wanna roll anti-clockwise, it actually like, I'm sorry, you wanna roll clockwise. We wanna tell the poop to move. If you are having diarrhea, the child's having diarrhea, you're going anti-clockwise. You're basically like turning the faucet and saying, stop. So that's a good way to remember. So again, clockwise for constipation and anti-clockwise for diarrhea. Okay, if your kid is sitting on the toilet and they're like, oh, it's not coming out and they're actually constipated, you can just have them pop off or just put two drops, one or two drops of peppermint essential oil in the toilet before they actually sit down. Don't ask me how this works, but it works and it's great and it smells good. <laughs> okay, colic cure. This is for a baby who's really struggling with colic one drop of Dajaz, and this one you're going to fill with carrier oil. It is so important that when we're dealing with really, really little ones, we're, we're basically using oils from the belly button down. We're not putting it anywhere near the top of their body. So this, you can just do one or two swaps of that roller under their belly. Okay, dry nights. If you are potty training or toilet training, one drop of Cypress on the waistline of underwear to help them to sleep through at night and not have a pee accident. It's incredible. And then for sound sleep, you can do a drop of Valamite on the bottom of big toes. All right, so focus and confidence. For focus, we have a great roller. It's 10 drops of cedarwood, 10 drops of lavender, 10 drops of vetiver. Fill it with your carrier oil. You roll this one behind neck and ears. You can put it on shoulders and under the big toe. So a lot of the times we're using Vitaflex points and that's why it works there. Okay, be brave roller. A lot of our kids are going back to school for the first time in a long time. This one is so great. Five drops of Bella, four drops of frankincense, four drops of lavender, four drops of cedarwood, fill it with carrier oil, and then you roll it down the spine and you can apply it to the inner wrist. Again, if you get it before they go to school under their big toe. Okay, act divine dear is kind of our code word. It, it actually means ADD. We just didn't want to give it like a term like that. So we're basically saying just to help for any kind of ADD issues or any other on the spectrum issues. Aromatically in the diffuser, you can put three drops of cedarwood and three drops of lavender. I've also heard lots of people loving orange for this purpose as well, just orange essential oil too. And then to just inhale confidence aromatically, you can do you know, three drops of, of Valor in the diffuser and you can even do one drop in your hand and just do an aromadome, which is where you do this and we breathe it in. Now for little ones, you'd be putting it in a roller or in a diffuser, it's a bit strong to do one drop in their palms. Okay, calm and unwind, so bedtime. Tantrum Tamer Roller, this is my, one of my favorites and it came in very useful when I had toddlers. So this one, we put 10 drops of White Angelica, 10 drops of Young Living Haven, fill it with carrier oil. And anytime we're dealing with emotions, we're usually putting it on wrists and behind ears, kind of where we would put perfume. This particular one says roll behind neck and ears and on temples. Again, when you're doing it on temples, watch eyes. So if you are more nervous, just stay away from the face and just put it on their neck, behind ears and on wrists. Okay, sleepy time foot drop. This one is gonna be an ointment, so you're doing it in a glass jar. And again, you've got your bowl, you start with the coconut oil, then you're adding your essential oils and either use an electric mixer or just a fork, whip it up, and this you can roll, put under their feet. So I'm not gonna read every little thing that's in these at this point, because I know we're kind of running out of time. You will all get a copy of this, and you will be able to you know, go through these and take down these recipes, but I'll also 
like reshare this um, presentation. So for peaceful sleep in the diffuser, three drops of lavender, three drops of Vela, and sweet dreams, three drops of lavender, and we have here, I think it's three drops of white angelica. So white angelica is fantastic if your child is saying that they're having night terrors or nightmares. So that's how I like to use that one. For allergies and seasonal support, this comes up a lot. So for a roller, we use, we call this the LLP blend, lavender, lemon, peppermint. This is always when we deal with allergies. So if you have a child who suffers with allergies, make them a roller for sure. Five drops of lavender, five drops of lemon, five drops of peppermint, fill it up with carrier oil. Again, when you're rolling it across their nose, you do have peppermint in there. So honestly, if you're new and you're using this for the first time, I would just do dots. I wouldn't even do a full roll. Um, you can also put it on your finger and then you put it on their face if you would like, just to avoid the eyes. And again, if you get it in, coconut oil or a carrier oil to dilute it out. Okay, internally, this is for any child that is over 12 years old. You can make a capsule with one drop each of LLP. And then you're going to fill this up with olive oil. We really like using olive oil when we're doing capsules just because it's a really nice healthy fat and it helps the oils to digest in our tummies. Okay, so breathe easy again aromatically. You can just put two drops of the LLP in the diffuser. Okay, growing pains and boo-boos. The boo-boo roller, this is such a good one. If you, if you have a little one who's bumping into tables and things, or you have boys, you will need this. So they're going to have goose eggs all the time. And this is my favorite roller. <clears throat> I call it the owie roller. <clears throat> Sorry. And so this one has 10 drops of helichrysum, 8 drops of lavender, 5 drops of frankincense, and then you're going to fill it with the carrier oil. Then we have an owie spray. <clears throat> Sorry, so this one I'm using all the time because mine love to bike ride and they get scra scrapes and scratches. So as soon as I see that, I've got a spray. Now when we do a spray, you are always going to want to put a little bit of witch hazel because it helps to mix the essential oils and the water. So sprays always are going to have water, essential oils, and witch hazel. And honestly, don't obsess with how much witch hazel. You just need to use a splash. So I prefer non-scented and as clean of a witch hazel that I can find. So it's seven drops of frank, seven drops of lavender, seven drops of tea tree. And you're going to put in your, you can actually put a little bit of carrier oil if you want to in that too. And then some distilled water and, or you can do the witch hazel actually both and either work. I do the witch hazel. Okay. The growth spirit balm, this is for growing pains. So 10 drops each of Panoi, Vala, Peppermint, Lemongrass, and Copa Eva. You're going to take half a cup of the hard kind of coconut oil. And again, put that in a bowl, blend it. Once it's fluffy and such, put it into a glass jar. And then you can do it after a warm bath. You can massage it in. Of course, you can also just use it. If they wake up in the middle of the night, you can rub it in, like, in and on them. Okay, skin soothers. So a bee sting. Basil is the best for bee stings. Second to that is going to be lavender. But for whatever particular reason, it helps so much with the swelling of bees. So one drop of basil. We had a, a friend over here recently-ish, and she was stung at our house, and I quickly ran and got the basil. And I, she went from like crying hysterical to totally calm, and even her foot just like stopped swelling. So it really helps. Okay, itch relief. This is going to be for, you know, any kind of itching that your kid has, whether it is like an eczema type thing, but this is, this is a little bit more, it's actually not so much eczema based. This is more of uh, random itching from biting and such. Okay, so bug bites. So one drop of tea tree, one drop of peppermint, and then an organic carrier. So you can use that topically. And you can also just pop that into your hand and apply it to the itchy area. We say ouchy hot, this, what we mean is for burns, whether it's sunburn or an accidental stove burn or anything like that, lavender. And in this instance, you can use it neat. That means undiluted. So you would just take the lavender, put it in your hand and put it where it hurts or just drop it onto the burn directly. Our lavender is very different to any other lavender that you can get out there and it's safe for up to a third degree burn. But please know that if I cannot vouch for any other lavender, there is another species that actually can encourage burns to get worse. So be very careful which one you're using. Ours is safe for up to a third degree burn. Okay, a bum cream, you can make one. Five drops of lavender, five drops of frank, 
We've got Melrose. In this one, we use beeswax, shea butter, and organic coconut oil. Now, when we're making an ointment like this, I like to use a double boiler. Or if you don't have that, just take a Pyrex dish or a glass dish, put it in a pot that's got a little bit of water, boil that water, pop your glass dish in, put all of the you know, hard things, the beeswax, the shea butter, the coconut oil, let that melt down, wait until it's cooled, then add the essential oils, and then mix it a little bit with a fork and pour that into your tub. So there you go. Okay, if you have a splinter, one drop of thieves, it's amazing. It's all you need, it pulls it right out. If um, it's for ultra calm skin bomb, this is actually the one for eczema. So any eczema or rashes. So this one's gonna be Frank Melrose Lavender Purification and we're gonna put it in coconut oil. Um, it's a common one, so I do recommend either screenshot this or you know write it down for yourselves. And then we have Pest Away Scalp Spray. So this is obviously lice preventative, which we use 10 drops of lavender, 10 drops of tea tree, teaspoon of witch hazel, fill it with water, shake that one before, and I spray this on the hair and the backpacks, suitcases before they even go to school. And it's a great one. Okay, a lot of the recipes I shared today come from this oil and glass recipe book. We are constantly trying to get it into South Africa. So I will share with you the resources of how to get it. And um, some are actually leaving my house today and arriving in South Africa. So I'm excited for that, for you guys to have this. And um, other resources just to share. I'm sorry, I'm like being speedy, but there is a lot in this class, I know. We do have a Facebook group. It's our private online community, community of our oily friends. There are resources in there. It's called Hello Essential South Africa. And um, anyone is welcome to be on that group. We also have one called Hello Essentials, which is our global one. And this has got countries, people from different countries. So if you have a friend who's in the UK and you actually want them to have help and support, you'd want to add them to the Hello Essentials group. Then we have a WhatsApp group. Hopefully most of you are in this one already if you're on our team. Um, this one is also called Hello Essentials with all the different, that we go by city or location, we have a Durban one, Cape Town, Johannesburg, and so on. And then we have an Instagram page, which is at hello.essentials.south.africa. Please follow us for inspiration tips, ideas, giveaways that we do, and a good belly laugh. So what you guys can expect proceeding with class, I will announce the raffle winner, and I will do that once I have all your emails. I actually collate all of that and then do a little um, spinny wheel thing. You will get a recording of this video and then you'll get the next class information. So again, if you didn't share your email address, please do so in the chat. It's the only way that I know how to communicate with you guys. And at this point, I'm going to stop sharing this um, screen and then I will just quickly check if there's any last questions. Um, but I, I think I do have some of my team leaders that are, are always on the calls and they, they help me to answer those. But what I'm going to do is I will go through that chat. I'm basically going to say thank you all for coming and for joining. I really hope that it was helpful. So those of you who need to jump off, please do. And I'll quickly go through some of these questions that might have been asked and answer them super fast. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for joining and you will get that email address. So look out for, I mean, you'll get that email. So look out for it with the recording of everything. Um, I'm just going through the questions super quickly. Okay, so yeah, someone asks if we sell carrier oils. Young Living sells carrier oils. Yes, it's called B6. It's the one, the only one they have. It's a vegetable oil complex. So if you look on Young Living's website, there is V6 vegetable complex, that's what it's called. V is in the letter V for Victor and the number six. Okay, um, let's see. So, oh, sorry, someone was asking about six months for one of the recipes, I guess. So for a six month old in general, I wanna say that whatever recipe you see, which it says for a three year old, you actually wanna like halve that or maybe even do a third of that. So a lot of it is comfort level as well. Um, <clears throat> okay, and then Lorena, thank you. You explained this to someone where you you said thank you for that. If it's a wet cough or dry cough, that's a great question. No, it doesn't matter. With the coughs, I like to just use RC. And then when it's a, a dry cough, you need to be drinking a lot of the thieves' tea as often as possible to help. 
And um, when it's a dry cough, I really like purification in the diffuser as well. It just helps with that little tickle that it will just like stop it from that, like <laughs> that desire to want to cough, that annoying desire. Okay. So is there a difference between a humidifier and a diffuser? Great question. There is a difference. A humidifier is constant um, wetness. When I used to use humidifiers, my husband and I would joke and we're like, oh, we've made the walls cry again. So what I don't love so much about humidifiers is the amount of water that is, that is put into a room and a space. So it can create mold. So also I don't like ones where it's heat. Anytime we're using heat, that is a problem and a concern. So our diffusers are acting as a humidifier for you. They are cold mist and they have an ionic little plate in there to be able to get the essential oils into the air and disperse. Now, another important note is if you have a humidifier, um, you use what you feel comfortable using. Don't ever put our essential oils in your humidifier. It will make the plastic melt, okay? It's made with not a great plastic. So please be careful about that. And Shelly answered that question, so thank you for that. Okay, um, what else? Let's see, other questions? Yeah, thank you. Other people have asked about the carrier oil again. I see that came up. Um, yeah, as long as you've shared an email address with me, you're all going to get a follow up to this. And um, so don't worry about that. And then let's see what other questions we have. Um, a question about allergies and can essential oils make it worse to start? That's a great question, Debbie. I have never personally known anyone for it to go worse before it goes better. Um, it's almost always helped either instantly or it's just taken a little bit of time before you actually see that it starts to help. So I like to tell people this as well when it comes to using essential oils and trying to prevent things like, oh, I want to see that my kid is getting healthier. Sometimes it does take time. You need to be consistent. So you need to be giving the thieves tea once a day before you're seeing, wow, I've actually noticed, oh my gosh, six months have passed and we haven't gone to the pediatrician. That's what I personally did. So I was lucky enough that when I used that roller on my daughter, the, the temperature one, it worked instantaneously. Now that doesn't always happen for everyone, but please don't lose faith in the product. So when it comes to essential oils, you should know that you need to be using it consistently and you need to try and catch whatever it is early enough. Like I know as soon as I feel a dry scratchy throat, I'm going straight away, I'm making a thieves tea and I'm putting purification on the outside of my throat right away. So that's what helps. The second I feel, oh, it's swollen glands and not feeling so great, I'm making what I call an immunity bomb. And that happens to have four drops of thieves essential oil, um, three drops of oregano, two drops of frankincense, and two drops of lemon. I put that into a capsule. I then add some olive oil to that, and I take it with water. And I do try and take a probiotic about an hour later because oregano is going to get rid of good and bad bacteria. That's its job. So it just kind of wipes you out. So just replace that good bacteria by having a good quality probiotic about an hour later. Don't take it together, because if you take it together, the oregano is just going to wipe it out. So you want to be taking it an hour before you take this immunity bomb or an hour later. Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, that's answers to your allergy question. I will tell you that I've personally seen, it was actually Stacey, no joke. She was about to do a presentation and I happened to be with her and she started sneezing and her eyes were watering, blowing her nose nonstop. I think she went through half a box of tissues and she had forgotten to bring a capsule with her. So a friend arrived, had an empty capsule, gave it to her. She put in two drops of lavender, two drops of lemon, two drops of peppermint, took that, a little bit of carrier oil. She, we actually had some. She took that. I'm not joking. Ten minutes later, not a single tissue. It was as if whatever we had just seen didn't even happen. And she did her presentation 100% fine, not, not needing one tissue, <laughs> like 10 minutes before she was a mess. So I got to see that firsthand. I actually don't personally suffer from allergies, but I hear amazing things about our allergy blend. Okay, we don't, our essential oils do not expire. The roller bottles and the things that you are making with carrier oil, 
mostly we say it has a two year shelf life because of the carrier oil. So I would encourage you, if you've had your chest rub and it's been two years, make a new one. You can usually smell, it actually smells like the coconut oil just smells kind of bad. But our essential oils do not expire. And if you're like, oh, but I'm looking at my bottle, it has an expiration date. This is a South African thing because they insist to put expiration dates on anything that goes on a shelf. But I can tell you that here we are where these get produced and made in the United States and there is no expiration date on our essential oils. And I actually thought <clears throat> the United States was stricter with all rules. It turns out South Africa has some interesting laws. And so for whatever reason, you guys do have expiration dates, but I can show you how all of mine do not expire and it's the same stuff. You guys have got, you, what you have in your hand is the same. Your lemon is my lemon. It's the same stuff as long as it's young living. Okay. So um, any other last minute questions here? What, what age can kids ingest oils? That's a great question. I would say if you're comfortable with it, I mean, I have a seven year old and I've had her ingest only because we've been using essential oils for four years and I am very careful with how much I give. So I have given her, for example, when she really, um, <clears throat> what did she have? Oh, she had a, like a UTI. So I actually made her the equivalent. I, I put like a tiny bit of oregano. I didn't do a whole lot and a bit of thieves and lemon. And I put it in honey and I had to take the teaspoon of it and then just chase it actually with Ningxia Red. And she was fine. She took it absolutely fine. But in general, we say 12 year, a 12 year old is usually safe to ingest it in a capsule form. My seven year old will take it in a capsule too. She's just a trooper. So she will, and she trusts me, and she knows that that's what's going to make her better. But everyone is different. So, you know, please do what feels right for you. Okay, I think I covered all the questions. Oh, another question. Can you make capsules in advance when needed and store them? Yes, you can. So you can actually buy some stuff from hellobottles.com. They sell a capsule maker, and then it's easy to actually pre-make all of these. So any resources that you're wanting, we do post a lot of resources. A lot of us sell different things and have these little side businesses with oily stuff. And so you can find this in Hello Essential South Africa, where it says, it has like a, a post about resources. So everyone's posting their things and you can contact those people. But anyway, the capsules in advance, you may make them in advance. Another quick cheat sheet way to do things is a piece of bread. Open up your capsule, line them up, stick it in the bread make them a few at a time and you can then put the olive oil in that and stick them in the freezer and then you can take them and that can last for quite a while so yeah i usually don't make more than two weeks worth of something um we usually don't need to have it for that long okay are oil safe for an adult with asthma and a teenager with controlled epilepsy okay this is a great question um i would be careful with the epilepsy, I do know about things like eucalyptus. They are trigger. There are certain essential oils that can trigger it. So you do want to be careful. So I will help you personally with that and, and you know, kind of explain some of that stuff outside of this. It's not the most common thing, but yes, you do want to use caution. So there's certain oils we just want to straight up avoid. And then asthma, I do not find an issue. Most asthmatics actually take well to our essential oils. You just want to do things very cautiously and far away. This is the same when someone says, oh, I think I have an allergy to XYZ oil. Then I say to them, usually it's a synthetic that you have an allergy to. Even if you have an allergy to a plant, oftentimes when it is um, distilled, we remove the, the proteins of the plant, which is the part of the allergy that we are allergic to we're actually allergic to the protein in the plant and the distillation process removes that so most people who have an allergy to let's say cinnamon have no issues with something like our thieves essential oil which has cinnamon in the blend so just an interesting thing but i do say to anyone who does have allergies try one drop in the essential in the diffuser and put it away on the opposite side of the room and see how you do and then do you know then you can slowly build upon that um, a three-year-old with eczema, with rash on shins and elbows, et cetera, I do recommend three things for you. You saw the um, ultra calm skin balm. I recommend making one of those. And the other thing I really recommend that you do is 
remove dairy from the diet, all dairy, and remove wheat. So anyone who's telling it they're suffering eczema, it's very much diet related as well. And I would definitely remove those two things from your diet. So wheat and dairy, 100% get rid of. And then you can use topically that um, the balm that I kind of went through. It's got the Melrose, frankincense, lavender. It's that one. So yeah, and that in a coconut oil. Okay, on that note, so much love to you all. Thank you for joining. So sorry, this class went on for a while. It just went to be 30 minutes, but I hope that it was helpful and you guys got your questions answered. We will talk again soon in a week. So I look forward to seeing you all then. Thank you for joining. Bye guys.